Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, a deal with demons. In our previous episode, our adventures had killed a few more of the inhabitants of this evil uh, demon town and had found their way to a prison which they heard screams coming from. And so they ended up break or, well, sneaking into this prison to see what's up. They charmed the guard there and sent him on his way, like, bribing him, bribing him. And then they investigated the other rooms in this prison. In one room, they found five prisoners that all seemed to be from Avranches. In another room, they found it was a torture room with a dragonborn male on, like, a torture table. And there, uh, Farron took some torture supplies. Then in another room, they found five more prisoners. Three were from Avranches and two were from still, I mean, uh, Summersail. Then in the fourth room, uh, they heard voices coming from it and the screams of torture. They ended up killing the guards and prison wardens and torturers that were in that room and found Bork Nork the Science Orc lying unconscious on the torture table in that room. And there's one more door that everyone hasn't checked out. It is straight to the hallway. And uh, yeah, that's basically where we left off. So what would everyone like to do right now? Uh, Blaze is still outside. Yeah, right? uh, Blaze and Lazarus are both outside. You are on the roof playing your flute. Blaze is meditating to try to Hoping for Lon Rest to regain his just a, abilities. Just a short rest, really. Short rest, yes, sorry, I meant that. Just want my key points. Oh, and I should say this, but uh, Drew was unable to come and record this time, so I'll just be playing as Tal as a NPC. Rest in peace, Drew. <laughs> uh, Please where? like, comment, and subscribe so that he can heal. <laughs> <laughs> um, where's where's Farron? Uh, you, uh, everyone is in the main hallway between all of the rooms. So there are two doors on the left. You came from the second one on the left, which is the torture room. The one, the first door on the left was the one with the Avranches prisoners. The first door on the right was with the mixed prisoners. And the second door on the right was where the, where Borknork and the, uh, torturers came from. And you guys have just fought them and killed them all. Kind of in the hallway, staff doorway. Nice. Oh, f- my. Um, I seem to have been a little out of it for the past little while. What's been <laughs> happening, everyone? Why are- There's a lot of dead bodies around here. What did we do? Don't look at me. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not, I'm oh, yeah, outside. that's right. Speaking to whoever's there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Tony, Tao, Duncan, and... That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So it's just Tony and Duncan in there right now. And Tal. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Ryan, Ayla Rendell, and Tal are yeah. in there with you. Tal will just say, uh, we kind of just uh, came to this prison, killed a bunch of guards, and released the prisoners. And why We're are still we... in the rooms there. Why did we do that? Uh, we just heard screams coming from here, and we're curious, and we looked in windows and saw that it was people in here. So... We came to save them. Oh, well, all right. This sounds like fun. Okay. Well, um, what exactly are we planning to do? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, the, the, I'm going to recap because I remember. Yeah. There's Somersdale prisoners in here who this town kidnapped after they escaped from the other prison they were in. So really, Somersdale people are living their best lives right now. Mm-hmm. But um, this town has been torturing them. So we saw them through some windows. Uh, so we're trying to release the prisoners and then we're going to take them with us and we're going to tell them to lead us to the other prisoner camp so we can release the other people from Somersdale. They're in this section of the depths. Okay. That was the plan. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we've been, what has happened since then. Uh, the prison is right here. Or, uh, no, it is right here. Or, uh, the no, second it's, 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 it's right here. Because I remember we no. had traveled for a bit. Because you guys went from here, and it was one of the first buildings, so it was this in here. 
Because this was where you saw the people who were outside the the other building yeah. that seemed oh, to be okay. Cool. Yeah, got cool. you, lad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just humming and hawing and crossed legs outside. Okay. Uh, it's been about fifteen minutes since these guys went inside the building. And so far, you haven't. No one has really walked past. Uh, the, you still see that group of people around the. Uh, what was the bar's name? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it right now. But it, it seemed to be some kind of bar or something that people were coming in, going out with, and there were some people who were drunk or on drugs. But there's this group of around four people just outside, just chatting to each other. Yeah, Lazarus is still just going to sit on the rooftop and keep an eye out. Okay. Just bide his time. Okay. Uh, Cal will speak up saying, uh, should we leave here and, well, should we try to, like, sneak out? Because now that we don't see anyone else here, we should probably try to get out before, like, people find out about this. <laughs> Probably not a half bad idea, kid. Uh, what are we gonna do about all the prisoners? Are we gonna try and get them out, or just leave them? I mean, that's why we came into the prison, right? Yeah. If we so... just leave them, they'll probably be tortured again. So we should. Well, how are we gonna free the prisoners? Come up with a plan to get everybody out of here. And all the prisoners are outside of their cells now, just waiting in the rooms. All right. Well, we need to apparently get all these people somewhere safe um, without being seen. Do we want to arm them, or do we have another plan of action? If we, because I think giving them weapons would be pretty cool. Uh, did, it would definitely help. Didn't I give them a bunch of uh, torture weapons and things last? Yeah, I think he did. Like, a few of them have different, like, super small knives and stuff like that. Yeah. Scalpels. So they're they're ready. There's nothing... No, go ahead. I was going to say, I don't know. They're ready. They're armed. They're prepared to fight, even if it's each other, so... <laughs> we can only take well, five. May the strongest win. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. But hold on. Hold on to that thought for a minute. We're also trying to get them out alive. We don't want them to... We're, they're not soldiers. We're not shooting them into battle and let them die one by one. We're trying to save them. That doesn't work if they're all dead. That's a good point. When did you become such a nice guy? There's less of them. It'll be easier to escort them. What's in that last room? <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, no one has entered it yet. Uh, I'm going to go and try the door. I'm going to... Okay, it is locked. Someone here has nimble fingers. I give it a kick. Do you? Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, just roll a strength check, please, Tony. Okay. Nim- more like nimble toes. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I promise it. Guys. <laughs> yeah, so a couple of us are on Discord right now, so... That's probably why I don't believe Tony. <laughs> no, for real, guys. I would not. I would not lie on on podcast. No, I, I would tried. not lie. <laughs> yeah, on yeah, podcast. Just, okay, just. sure. Uh, you're able to kick the shed of, out of this door, and it just <laughs> it comes off of its hinges and just comes flying down onto the ground in front of you. Nice. What kind of door was it? Was it like metal or wood? Or? Yeah, it was a metal door. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Uh, I just imagine like it. Ryan walking up, giving it like you know a jiggle. He's like, ah, it doesn't open, and then my foot just going like right past him and just kicking it down off its hinges. <laughs> Violence is always the answer. Okay. Yeah, so uh, let, let's go in the room and check it out. What's in the room? Yeah, so this room you don't see any people in this room. It's a moderate sized room. It's probably thirty feet by thirty feet. And in it, you see that there is one bed just for uh, sleeping in, because you would assume that there's like a night shift and people need to sleep every once in a while, so for that. And you also see that there are a few weapons all around and supplies, and it seems like it was like a 
Like, almost kind of like a break room type thing for the guards. Mm-hmm. So they get they probably take their mandatory like fifteen minute break in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get a coffee, <laughs> catch up. And that fifteen minutes inevitably becomes a half an hour or forty five <laughs> minutes, and the prisoners escape and they get laid off. But whatever. Um, so how many weapons ballpark are there? Like enough one per person for the prisoners, or? Uh, so you see. That there are three spears, one short sword, and one long sword. And there are also the weapons that the uh, the guards had when they were attacking you guys in the last session. Mm. And then you also see uh, two short bows with a full, with both with full quivers of arrows, and you see a few uh, series a few bodies of uh, leather armor as well. Okay. Um, can I... I'm gonna go back out into where everybody is, and yep. I'm gonna try and find a handful of like the most able-bodied people, the people who have been tortured the least, maybe, or they just look strong or handy in a fight. And the, the ones with still them. arms. Yeah. I would I would definitely look for ones that still have arms first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all except for one person have all their arms. There's Stylish. one that's just missing one. Uh, so he's still armed, but it's not dual <laughs> armed. Give him a bow. <laughs> uh, so all of these guys seem extremely worn and tired and injured. There's not really any that are less so. And you assume that's because they've been in some kind of prison or prison camp for a long time. Well, for quite a while before they escaped and were brought into this prison. Okay. So there's not really any that are less worn than others. That's fine. Um, Then I'll just be like, all right. Uh, we found some weapons. Those of you who are able and willing to fight, uh, come and arm yourself. Put some armor on, and we're going to try and fight our way out of here. Okay, so... Uh, s- six of them immediately come up to try to get weapons and armor and stuff like that. So two of the... One is a dragonborn, two elves, one half-elf, and... The others are uh, tieflings. Half elf. Where's the other half? Fuck off. Were any of them the that's, one? That's the one that's missing his, <sighs> his arm. So that's a really poor joke. <laughs> Show some fucking respect. <laughs> hey man, I, that wasn't in character. Yeah. So uh, sorry about interrupting you, Duncan. But oh, yeah, okay. these guys all come up to you. Uh, I'll just direct them towards. The, the the break room and let okay. them pick their pick their fancy whatever okay yeah and they do and uh does, does one of them come back with the dude's arm <laughs> <laughs> hey I found your arm <laughs> <laughs> and all of them get armed and four of them <laughs> uh, put on armor uh, there were only four suits of mm-hmm. armor Okay. And the other prisoners, a few of them do have the swords that the guards had, and a few others have the scalpels and small knives and stuff from the torture rooms. And I think that Borknork is still unconscious. Oh, oh yeah, maybe somebody dead. should heal him. No, just unconscious. Sorry, what, Duncan? Yeah, maybe somebody should uh, give him a potion or something. Says the cleric. I have no spells right now. We've been going for like two days. We have not rested. I'm tapped. I don't think I have anything. I think all my spells kill people. Yep. Okay, no, I do have a healing potion. I'll give him a healing potion. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's just a regular healing potion, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so how much does he heal? Uh, 2d4. Nice, I rolled two fours. Uh, so, okay. uh, 10. 
Okay. I thought healing potions were one one d four. No, it's two. Two d four. Regular healing is two d four, as far as I know. Plus yeah, two. I think so. Yeah. Plus, plus two. two, yeah. So ten total. Okay, so he, you see the wounds on him and where he was starting to burn after a fire bolt mm-hmm. went in the wrong direction. You see those burns and wounds start to heal up with new skin coming on them. And a lot of the blood is dissolving that was all around his body, just on his clothes or whatnot. And then you see his eyes open and he gasps. And he said, he looks around, kind of confused and still dazed. And then he slowly gets back to his senses and <coughs> says, uh, Are you guys here to save us? Yeah, we're going to get you out if we can. Awesome. Oh, how, how did you get here? Uh, we just kind of... <laughs> we just kind of, you know, stumbled our way through. So, you know, let's just, let's just get okay. out of here. Yeah, of course. I'm. Super, thank you so much. Oh, well, don't thank me yet. Um, I don't know how helpful I will be, but I will try to help you guys as we continue on. Is that a good way you to start? Do you have a plan for getting out of the depths? Um, as far as I can tell, our best bet is to bluff our way out of here. So everybody better put on a brave face. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what does everyone do now? Okay, I'm going to start... Sorry, Tony, you go. Oh, uh, I am going to go to the front door, um, the one that we entered through. I'm going to see if I can peek through and notice if those guards are still outside that bar. Okay, uh, yeah, as you peek through, you're able to see that there are four people uh, all around the bar. They don't seem to be guards of any sort, but just seem to be civilians of the town that are just... Chatting maybe a little bit directly or druggingly, and are just like talking to each other. Um, can am I able to figure out how like intoxicated maybe they are just by how they're standing or talking or moving? Uh, roll an insight check. Uh, fourteen. Uh, you see that one of them has really disheveled hair and is waving their arms wildly as they talk, and. Uh, they seem to be swaying a little bit as they talk as well, so you would assume that they're pretty bliss- blitzed right now. And the other two don't seem as bad, but seem to be... From what you can tell, they seem to be a little bit drunk. Okay. Um, I, like, turn back and I face uh, Ryan and, and Tao and the crew, and I just kind of say that, um... Uh... It seems like those guys outside the bar are quite intoxicated. We might be able to sneak by. Well, we'll we can try. And if not, we'll just kill them. Well, 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 no, we won't just kill them. Tell you what, we can try and sneak by, and if anything starts to get a little dicey, I can step in and perhaps sway their opinion. Um... I can also put on my glasses of disguise and try to uh, go chat with them and see if I can uh, <laughs> talk them into like going in for a drink and then maybe we'll, everyone can sneak out after. So, Tony, the glass of disguise only shield your identity if people don't know you already. If people know you already, I yeah, but so but if I take it, would be the same as just walking up to them as is. Yes, but does, so it wouldn't help in any way. No, it doesn't change your appearance. Hear me out. If I put on the glasses and I go talk to them, something goes wrong. I pull them off without them noticing. I'm suddenly Aaron. <laughs> I'm different. Like it's the same concept, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's the same as if you talk to them without and then put on your glasses after. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> it's different because as a disguise, I can be whoever, and if I take them off and then I try, then I'm Arendelle. I know it's the same thing, but, like, let's say, um, you know what? Shut up. I don't, it does, like, either way, <laughs> um, it's a good tactic. I think it'd work. <laughs> Tony, it doesn't change your appearance at I know all. it doesn't change my appearance. I'm not arguing that it does. I'm just saying it gives me a double record, chance Tony. to talk to them. 
Yeah, it's it's the Does, reverse Clark Kent, where you know he wears glasses and they think he's Superman, and then he takes the glasses off. Oh wait, no, that's backwards. He wears the glasses, <laughs> and they think he's Clark Kent, and then he takes them off, and suddenly he's Superman. Right? Two different. All people. I know is, all I know is that I'm super glad I'm not involved. <laughs> yeah. I'm just by the way, prison. where is Blaze right now through all of this? I'm, I'm behind the prison, uh, sitting with Lovecraft. Uh, uh-huh. Eating a granola valley bar as I heal myself with a uh, hit die. <laughs> okay. All right. You're get- okay. Trying to see if you guys can take an hour so I can get my key back. We are probably going to start moving like right now. So sorry, buddy. I mean, you could make it last an hour. Just let Tony do his uh, his tactic and you'll be a fight. And that'll <laughs> oh, be God. a solid like 10 minutes at least. So. so what do you think the plan is? Okay, I we think... Should've, we should have taken a rest, like I said. N- we should have, but we didn't, so let's just move on. Aelrindel, I think our best bet to get out of here is to have everybody form up. We'll put everybody who's armed on the outside and everybody who isn't on the inside, like a herd of cows, except with weapons, anyway. Um, <laughs> hold, hold, hold on! <laughs> hold on! What if, what if uh-huh. I uh-huh. go ahead, all right? Yeah, everyone stays in for just a couple of seconds. I go in. I distract the people. I'm very good at swagging people's opinion. And I push him back into the bar where they're not going to see anything. See. Actually, he is wearing a demon's face and demon <laughs> wings. I am also I just scare them. naturally, uh, I belong here, I suppose. <laughs> you are a drow, so yeah. <laughs> A dead drow. Yeah, Dude. so double belong here. Mm-hmm. I mean, undead people still but. shouldn't be common. Okay, okay, all right, all okay. right. I have a plan. All right, Erendel and I, we can go ahead of the crowd. All right, we can sway these people into the bar. That way, there's no eyes on the people that are walking out. Yes, but here's the thing: we're like we're in the middle of a city, and we're gonna be moving roughly cage. How many people are there? How many prisoners? Uh, there are 12. Okay, so there's a dozen of us, there's a dozen of them, and then there's a six of us, or however many. So it's going to be a pretty big group. I'm not sure we're going to be able to stealth our way out of here. Then why don't we sparse us out? Maybe like a couple of us go at a time. In intervals. That's a good idea. Well, theoretically, we have until the next guard change. So I can always push the guys back if need be. True. I mean, okay. I mean, there are still people like working inside the prison, right? All no, the, that's no... all the people in the prison. Oh, don't. It's like a small prison, so. Oh, cool. Well, then, yeah. Why doesn't Tony go and like, or Tony and Seb, or Seb without Tony, or Tony without Seb? Does not matter. Goes to the people at the bar, causes a distraction, whether it be physical violence or, <laughs> a, like, charismatic talking. And then whilst they are distracted, mm. you just take everyone out behind the the prison where Blaze is sitting. We can just use the back alley. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Behind the prison Man. where Blaze is, use the back alley to leave the area, turn the left down the pathway where we were intending to go, and there's no problem. I sure wish Blaze was here to tell us all that information you just told us. Right? <laughs> Too bad he isn't. Better go <laughs> fuck some shit up. Okay. It's flawless. I, I like the idea, though. How long though. have they been in uh, 15 minutes? 15 minutes? That's what Gage said earlier, yeah. Yeah, it's been about 20 or 25. Yo, if you guys can just keep talking about it for a solid 25 minutes, I can have my key back. Like Then the guard will come back. So? That's their problem. With other people. Mm. That's their problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, By now, Lazarus is going to climb down the building to see what the fuck's going okay. on. It's like, been 20 minutes. Where are you climbing down? Like, back to where I am? Uh, I'll probably climb down the side of the building and then kind of just scoot out front. Okay. Yeah, so as you scoot up, are you being stealthy as you scoot up? Yeah, okay. as stealthy as I can be. Okay, uh, just throw a stealth check for me. And do you still have passed the trace from the last time? Yeah, because I had... Has not been an hour yet. Uh, so Thirty-two. Hour. They don't see you at all, and yes. you're able to quietly sneak through, sneak into the front door. Okay, I open up the door, and 
I guess I see all these guys just standing around. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Discussing on how to leave. What the fuck is going on, guys? And then you see uh, four prison guards all lying on the floor in the hallway in front of you. Looks like this situation's been handled. We should leave. So far, we're just trying to figure out where to go from here. We suddenly have a dozen people to escort out of the depths, so... Look, all prisoners can go out the back. Just send them out, like, two at a time. Have them sneak around the back of the building. And hopefully they won't see us. Exactly. Okay. Um, Okay, wait. uh, I I have an idea. Okay. It's very good, okay? So, we... Okay, wait, uh, Gage, which way does the door swing? It would go inward, right? The door swings inwards, yes. Okay, so if we take it off its hinges, and we pretend like it opened outward, then they're covered. Then they go around the other side, still covered by the door, and around the building. Here's a better idea. (laughs) Alien doll, since you kind of fit in, you stand next to the door and body block so that they can't see... The prisoner's coming out the door. He's a walking corpse. He doesn't fit in anywhere. <laughs> he somewhat fits in. Not much, he, but he better than he does. Guard. Isn't he covered in, like, scars? Yeah. You no, know, I've caused a distraction once. I can do it again. Yeah, so I like the idea that Farron had earlier. Why don't you guys... you Farron and Alendell, you guys go to the bar, gather up those four guards, and depending on how many people are in the bar, maybe start a brawl and uh, yes! get out of there real quick. And that way, every, those four brawl. guards are well. occupied. Everybody in the bar is occupied, and there's a distraction for anybody approaching the jail so we can get people out of here. Arundel, what do you think? I think that's a great idea. Nice. I do as well. Nothing would make me happier than... Bashing in some faces a little bit. I do have a torturer's kit now. <laughs> I don't think you need a torturer's kit for like a bar brawl though. Like, oh no, I punched the guy in the face. Now I'm gonna fucking cut off his fucking toe. Uh, well, Gage, I put on the glasses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but also you guys have to. Can come everyone back. roll an insight check? But oh, the, everyone in the crew oh, knows, right? God. I mean, if they're watching him put the glasses on. Yeah, I guess if you guys are watching him put the glasses on, then yeah. Well, I guess yeah. That, I mean, yeah. he's standing right there. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I put it on once before, and everyone, I think, in our crew knows. The the this, the the prisoners oh, might be yeah, very confused, right. but... <laughs> yeah, the prisoners kind of jump back and wonder why there's this random undead drow unfamiliar to them in the room. Where'd the other undead drow go? <laughs> Where's this new undead drow for? Okay, if we're going to do Fort something... Fork Nork understands should... what just happened, though. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. If we're going to do something, we should do it quick. All right, let's go, Fer- uh, <laughs> uh I forgot his name All right, I'll be right behind you. Okay. Oh, wait, do you want to take the lead or do you want me to take the lead? Let's walk uh, at the same pace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll walk at the same pace. We'll go up together. I like it. Um, so I guess... One, two, uh, three. One, two, three. Farron and I will cat like casually walk out of the the prison and close uh, or leave no i leave the door open and we'll make our way towards him casually okay yeah uh as you walk towards them uh three of the people who are grouped around there don't really take any note don't really say anything but the drunk person that turns down and says hey who are you guys what are you up to? Let's let's fucking drink some more. Come on, let's go. Let's go into the bar. Come on, bud. Yes, I agree. I would love to uh, drink a ton. And he's definitely like swaying as he says that too. <laughs> and you see the other three just roll their eyes at how drunk this guy is. I will just put my arms around two of them and, and bring them into okay. the bar. <laughs> okay. Uh, the fourth one rolls their eyes because they were kind of wanting a, an excuse to leave. And this is the perfect time, so they just leap. The last one just ditches. Okay. And yeah, you're going in the bar with these three, three other uh, patrons. Um. Uh. 
go. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll go. Uh, um, <laughs> as I'm having my arms around these two dudes, I'll just be like, um, would you mind just going and uh, grabbing us some drinks, and we'll meet up in a sh- in a short minute. Uh, the drunk one is like, yeah, yeah, of course. Let, yeah, I'll get you some drinks. I'm gonna get me some drinks too. Let's get. I'm gonna get some drinks, and he goes to the bar, and. Like as you, I want fire, fireball <laughs> whiskeys. <laughs> uh, as you enter this building, you see that it definitely is a bar, and it seems to be there's a stage at one end, and you see a demon. Uh, he's not a shadow demon. He's uh, fuck what kind of demon is he again? Uh, that's their own thing. Uh, just can't remember the demon name, so I'm just gonna quickly chain demon. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's a good Thank one. you for helping the difficulty, yeah. <laughs> Zach. Appreciate it. Better help you all fight that fucking thing. Yeah, you see a chain demon on stage, and you know Infernal, right? Yeah, I chain do. Devil. Oh, it's a chain devil, so it wouldn't be a de- it wouldn't be a chain devil because no, it's only a demon place. You're welcome for lowering Don't the DC up uh, there. Do that again. That's the only one I know. It's like a fucking challenge rating of eight. Like I want to deal with that. You see that it's it is a now first knee. Isn't it like fourteen challenge rating? Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, what if they fight it? <laughs> oh, okay. Gage. Anyways, you have to know if you put it in the world, we're probably gonna try to fight it. <laughs> hey, that's up to you. No. There's a dragon turtle. You didn't try to kill it. We all, yeah, well, kind of. It was close. It was touch and go. We annoyed the fuck out of it. There was a bee here that one time, wasn't there? I, well, I remember you guys left me to There's, die. There was a what here, sir? A bee here? Didn't you throw one of those? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in the last steps while you guys were exploring. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's funny. The bay here and the dragon turtle. Both of them were me almost dying. So, <laughs> Gage, please lower the difficulty. <laughs> Stop pissing them off. How big is this bar? Uh, it it is fairly large. Like it's probably about. I'm terrible with distances in uh, Imperial. Uh, it is eighty feet. I I, I I'd say I'd say it'd be eighty feet by a hundred feet. So it's a pretty large building. Mm, okay, 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 okay. How many AOE spells and, can you throw on And the this <laughs> Nelfa Shidney is at the very far end on stage. And he, you understand what he's doing. He's He has a comedy routine. Oh. <laughs> kind of Nelfa Shidney has a comedy routine. <laughs> and this seems to be almost like a comedy bar. Oh. <laughs> and right now you you hear that his jokes are about the Fardana. Do you have I, some I, jokes keep, I definitely up? keep an ear on that. <laughs> okay. What are, what are uh, his jokes? <laughs> I, I just wanted <laughs> to <laughs> mention before when we were um, going to head in and walk inside, I uh, am the last one to enter the bar. And I, I, I kind of want to give like a, a secret like whistle across, you know, like, like they do in the movies where it's like, you know. <laughs> okay. Just wait. Who are you whistling to? <laughs> huh? <laughs> who are you whistling to? Like everyone in the the prison, so they know that it's clear. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I would have been peeking out the door, watching them. And all I'm gonna do at this point is stay by the entrance of the bar and just watch and make sure no eyes are going towards the prison. And if they do, I'm going to hit someone. I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, roll stand. Perception check, please. Oh, I'm gonna stand by Farron as well. Okay. You guys have just turned into bouncers. <laughs> Try, to... Uh, Try to look threatening. Ah, eighteen. Eighteen. You actually see the guard who was in the prison before, who you guys bribed, sitting near the front of the, near the stage, and he's laughing his ass off. Do I know this as well? So he's distracted. That's important. Uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, that's not looking good. Uh, 
Uh, eight. Natural. Point. You're not looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't notice him. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary besides this being like a demon bar. That's weird. I have glasses on. I should be able to see better. <laughs> your sunglasses. I thought they were like Clark Kent glasses, like the square frame kind of. Yeah, they are Clark Kent glasses. Okay, that's good. I guess by now I'll start ushering out the prisoners. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't see anyone all along this path, well, along either of the paths around here, so you're able to offer them out, like, one or two by two to the back of the building. And Blaze, you now see these random people, humanoids, are coming towards the back of the building. Well, I mean, Blaze is an intelligent person. He knows his friends wanted to break yeah. out prisoners. <laughs> He'll be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, okay. How's it going, prisoners? How's it, how you doing? You doing good? Um, I've been going to be scared of you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cat. Well, he, yeah. I'm not a rudderkin anymore. You should yeah. be. Uh, Borknork probably would have been one of the first ones out because he's going to try to help people and stuff like that. And he's going to say, Ah, nice to meet you. you I, I'm assuming you're with the other guys who are helping us right now. What other guys? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Borknark, and he puts out his hand. Not concerned. You might... I'm not sure if you recognize me, but I'm Borknark. Oh. Uh, I don't really put, like, labels on people, you know? I don't like to... I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff, you know? Like, uh... So, nice to meet you, I guess. You definitely recognize him. Oh. I'm gonna pretend I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, high five, I guess. What's up? He'll use his elbow, because right now it's not safe to... Oh. <laughs> Topical. Uh, well, that's some poor topic oh, right there. Uh, yeah, we're no, recording he'll, this. He'll shake your hand. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, hey, what's up? So, did everything go okay in there, uh, Mr. Nork? Yeah, uh, all of the guards that are in there are dead. There's one who was in there before who I didn't know was there, but... Oh, so they went the classic murder route, I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it works yeah. every time. It works every time. And he'll kind of tell you about the plan that the guys had devised. Okay. And tell you that Farron and Aelredal are in the bar. Okay, how about this, Mr. Nork? Uh, they'll lead people here. You hold on to them here, and I'll take small groups around the corner. And we'll all meet up around the corner. I'll come back and forth. I'll, 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 I'll guide people. Yeah, sure. We'll keep sure. Like a, it's like a... Yeah, have you ever heard of an assembly line, Mr. Nork? I have, I have, yes. You have? Okay. Yes. So an assembly line is when there are multiple people in a line and they pass one end, one object to the other to lead to the other end. It's supposed to be a helpful way, you know? Yeah, I, I understand that. And I just that seems to... like it'll work well. Okay, we're going to do it that way. Okay. Awesome. So you're going to be the middle part of the assembly line, okay? And what, we didn't really discuss which way we were going. Like you guys said... About leaving the depths, so... Yeah, I mean, does it really matter? Like, you don't want to get out of here, right? I mean, there's a prison camp up going that way, and he points towards the direction that you're probably planning on going. Oh, yeah, no, perfect, that's where we want to go. I mean, we're not going to take you guys to the prison, but, like, that's the direction we're heading, and then we'll have a safe spot for you while we go free the rest of the people. He doesn't look too happy about this, but he says... Oh, Okay. Uh, I mean, it's that, that or you're strange. on your own, buddy. I yeah. Mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. I just thought that when you said we were going to leave the depths, it wasn't going to be going back to the prison camp we escaped from. I mean, do you know anywhere else to get out no, of the depths? No, I don't. I've never been to these, the depths before. Well, welcome to the club, buddy. I mean, yeah. So just follow us and we'll do our best. <laughs> sure. All right. And I'll take the first group around the corner. Okay. Again, these prisoners don't seem too happy about going, but they'll follow you since there's nowhere else to go. Listen, you do as you're fucking told. <laughs> yeah. uh, do as you're told real roll key. a stealth check. Do I still have Pass the Trace, right? Because I was there when you yeah. cast it. So. Yeah. Uh, actually, there's no one around that you see. Well, yeah, you're able to head beyond the building. So, yeah, you don't see anyone around at this moment, so you're good. So I don't need that stealth? No. Yet? No. Okay. Ass. Okay. Would I have ushered everyone out by now? Uh, yeah, and by now it's probably about 50 minutes since you all broke into the prison camp. Ah, uh, there goes my short rest. Well, when I head back to the 
back of the building, I see that uh, Blaze has started an assembly line, and uh, Lazarus is going to say, oh, I've heard that assembly lines operate more efficiently with music. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to softly play my flute. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, hey, uh, Lazarus, can you, can, you, can, you not be, can you not do that? We're trying to be quiet. So maybe don't play your flute. Just roll a performance to see how quiet you are playing. (laughs) 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 My bonus is not that good. What is it with your bonus? Three? Hey, Lazarus, can you... Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for that. Uh, Where is everyone else right now? I'm still in the bar with Arendelle. So, I am just behind the prison grabbing more people to go. Okay, Ryan, where are you right now? Uh, if everybody's out of the prison now, I'm going to do a last sweep yeah. and make sure that we're all out and then head around to the back and I'll do the little whistle thing that Aelrondel did okay. to get his attention. Caca! Caca! Okay. So you did that, you don't see anyone else in the prison besides the dead bodies and you leave the door and draw a perception check for me, please. Oh, God. Oh, uh, that's good. Uh, 23. 23. Okay, so from pretty far across the... Well, from across the crevasse that's, like, between you and the other side of the town, you see that... You see two two people, a shadow demon and a tiefling, kind of come from the shrine, and they're kind of looking around like they heard something. Oh, God. And they're kind of walking towards in your direction. They haven't seen you yet, just because there's other stuff in the way. Okay, I'm going to pick up my pace a little bit and hop, hop back to the back of the building and alert Blaze and Lazarus. Okay. I throw a rock at Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll just think it's music from the bar. It's a cop. Uh, I don't, don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> Listen, stealth operations mean being quiet, which means <laughs> don't play music no matter the volume, okay? Fine. If you want me to shut up, then you have to shut up too. I was being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop playing the flute. Okay. Uh, so, you guys now are all behind the building. You guys know that there might be two people coming towards your group. And I'll go back to Elnrol and uh, Farron. So you're in this bar, and this drunk tief- tiefling has come back with a tray of drinks. And the other two people, the Shadow Demon and I think it was another tiefling, all kind of went more near the uh, stage. But this drunken tiefling comes up to you with a tray of like 10 different shot gases. And says, guys, I got lots of alcohol. Guys, and fuck. Like, look at this. And he, he like, goes to the table that's near you and sets it on the table. And he ushers you guys over and just like, I just get fucking drunk, dudes. Are you going to take a drink from a stranger? Uh, well, uh, hold on a minute there, friend. Uh, I just have to use the facilities and I'll be right back to do those shots with you. Sound good? Here, take one first and then go. Oh! We're celebrating a new friendship and he puts his arms around both you and Aelendal. Um. Certainly! Um. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'll take one and Arendelle got one too. Yeah. I'll just kind of face Arendelle and I'll have the drink in the opposite hand farthest away from his vision. Yeah, I will as well. Um, and I'll just go, all right, and uh, on three, we're going to drink, but it's going to go on the left side of our face. All right? And we're just going to just pour it down our shoulder. You got it? I, so it's going to look like <laughs> that we're taking it, but we're not. The tiefling says, you guys aren't going to take these shots? What? No, we are. We're just simply You're talking. just saying you're going to just toss them behind you. Oh, God. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw the glass at him and leave. Oh, oh yeah. god. I am insulted by you, sir. <laughs> this guy literally just wanted some friends, man. Like, shit. I cannot believe you wouldn't want me to take a drink with you. 
Uh, after you throw it at him, he just seems so taken back that he kind of just freezes in his spot for a second. Well, not quite freezes because he's still like swaying and stumbling a little bit back and forth. I usher uh, sure Arendelle to leave with me as I exit the bar. I I I follow. Okay. <laughs> what a shit show. Uh, so this guy seems almost heartbroken, and he just looks down in sadness and just sits back at the table he just put the thoughts on and starts downing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tea plate. A tea plate. Well, yeah. Poor fucking bastard. I feel a little bad. You should have taken the Life shot Life is hard, him. okay? <laughs> Deal with it. You should have taken the shot with him. Mm-hmm. Why? It's just a shot. Could have been drugged. That's why he suddenly started drinking all of them. <laughs> well, now you know I that wasn't you were... looking to drink. I was looking just to distract. Now you know how cruel you were to that tiefling. That's okay. He'll die eventually. Listen, tiefling racism is a real thing. <laughs> uh, so you guys are able to leave the bar with him with a broken heart. And do you, <laughs> you guys see that the you, as you look to the prison, you don't see anyone there anymore or coming out of the doors or anything. So you can probably assume that everyone got away. All right. uh, I'll, meet, I'll start walking to the rendezvous point then. Okay. Uh, I'll be checking to make sure no one's following yeah. me. Though. Uh, so, where exactly was it that you guys were leading the prisoners? There? Okay. Around the corner. Okay, so, every once in a while, when you peeked around the bu- the building there, you did see people walking on this path here, and here, and here. But you were able to wait long enough to allow them to pass before you went there. Nice. And by now, er- all of you guys have gathered in that one spot, like out of, kind of out of view of the roads or paths and you realize it's all it's probably around 55 maybe 58 minutes since you first went into the prison and yeah you guys are all, all back together back together now all right so like what's the plan then guys we're gonna drop these people off to make a little we could set up a tent somewhere. We're often like in a quiet corner. We just hide them near or in the tent, and then we go find the prison. Is that the plan? Are we away from the prisoners a little bit? No, we're, we're with them. We're in a big circle together. Like we we just escorted all of them out Gage, of town. Shut up, Clayton. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought, it's okay. dude. I'm sorry. I, I assume you're probably still around the prisoners. Okay. Can we, should we step away for a bit so we can plan without freaking everybody out? I mean, they should, they have a right. Okay, they have a right whatever. To know. Anyway, I, yeah, because, okay. Because we don't even know where the well, exit is. I do have this rock of exit portation. Can that <laughs> teleport all, all of us at once? It opens a portal. Yeah. Yeah, but once they go through that portal, like, we can't use that same portal to get back to this area. Uh, it just brings us back to that one spot. Yeah, so if we're going to do that, are we just sending them out? And how long does the portal stay up? Well, yeah, we can just send them out. It just stays up as long as I need it to, I I think. And then if it closes, I just open it again. Yeah, Or it stays for 15 minutes, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Borgnork? Yes, yes. Listen, so what we're going to do is open up a portal that will lead us to... Where's this portal lead? Leads to Fair? that cave, right? The... No. Uh, I think the one you has leads to the depths, like the other depths. And then I think Tony has the one that leads to the, to the cave. Uh, yeah, Didn't yeah. we have one that leads to, like, near Horea? That's the same right. one that leads, leads to the depths. To the depths. So the depths, it, it's kind of a two-way portal. So the first charge of it leads to the depths. And then the second charge leads to her to near Haria. Oh, so our plan is to send them to that cave? Guys, we can't do that. That's my discovery. Like, Borknok here is a somewhat intelligent person. I can't just send him to that cave. What if he takes all I the shit I found? Okay, but listen here. We're trying to save them. No worries, buddy. I got your back. <laughs> we're trying to save them and get them to safety. I know, but like, this cave is very important to me. Bork Nork, if we send you to this cave, you have to promise me you won't take any notes, look at it, you'll just immediately leave. 
what what's the cave and There's like where's that? It. It's not important. It's not an important cave. It's, it's just a cave. It's a little north of Eit, Okay. So once you, why would I take notes on it? You then? don't need to take notes. The important part is that once we teleport you it's there, south of Eit. South of Eit. Okay, it's south of Eit. So the important part is once you're in the cave, immediately leave the cave with everybody and lead them to Eit. Okay, since you you guys are saving us, then sure, we'll do that. Pinky promise. I promise. Okay. A pinky promise? I pinky promise. Alright, because that is the most powerful promise of all. Our pinky promise is... Dude. Yeah. It's a uh, fucking pinky promise. It's not a gun. <laughs> Are you happy now, Blaze? <laughs> you won't check out your cave. Thank you. I appreciate now it. Now will be that, safe. That's my discovery. If anyone's going to get famous for that, it's me. Alright? Yeah. I mean, no one will get famous for it, Bork Nork. <laughs> Alright? Just put up the portal. I'm tired of these people. Alright. Uh, Arendelle... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you open the portal so that these fine things can escape? Wait, Thanks. if we're going to open it up, let's do it somewhere out of the way. Otherwise, someone's going to walk by and just see a cool portal and be like, well, I wonder where that goes. And then, boom, Borknork and all his friends are dead. Well, you know what? Then we'll kill them. You can stand and go out and watch the portal. You want to stand here for 15 minutes? I'll stand here for 15 Man, minutes. Man, you guys keep teasing me with short rests. I, mean, like, yeah. I take off the so glasses. The portal... So the- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Aelindel's here. So the portal that Aelindel has is not a portal, it's a teleportation stone. So this one, you have to all be holding hands and in the same area to actually transport there. And it only transports, I think, seven people at the same time. Okay, so here's the thing then. Borknork, you travel with about seven people. Boom. Immediately leave the cave. It has one charge per day, too. Oh, it can't come back here. No. Oh, we're so fucked, you guys. Save half of them there, and the other half using the other stone. My stone just leads to the depths. <laughs> okay, how about, how, about depths. how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? How about, how about, how about, how about uh, We activate the portal one that goes to the depths, right? Right. We give the stone to Bork Nork. Right. He opens up the portal. They go through the portal. They wait fifteen minutes. Open up the portal. Go to Horea, wherever. And then they go from there, and we'll just find another way out, either by that cave teleportation, which can transport all of us, and then if we find another cooler way out, we'll just go that way. How we'll have to never... sacrifice the stone to the depths that we'll never ever use again, because it has no importance to us That's... specifically. That's fair. Do I remember how close the exit is from where the stone's going to take me, the stone that I have? Uh, yeah, so that leads to the final like prison camp yeah, area no, in the a... other depths but it was on the main floor area near the uh shardana quarters mm-hmm. which the last time you guys went there there were no shardana there were a few rudderkin and other and small like, demons there than yeah you may ask what you did. so how close would the exit be from there from there from, to from where we would from where that, that stone would take us to that area yeah. Now, the exit out of the depths... Is that same path, stone. Right? It, you can either use that same stone one more time to go to Huria, or you can travel all the way back the first part of the depths there, okay. yeah. and then climb up the tunnel that went down. Yeah, so, we're going to give them the stone, they activate the stone, they just wait for it to go away, and then they reactivate it, which will then take them to Hurea, okay. instead of traveling all the way through the depths. Yeah. I mean, of course they'll have to be careful, there could still be demons nearby, but like I said, Borknork is a somewhat intelligent being, I'm sure he'll be fine, I mean, well, he can why, lead these people. Why don't we go with them, and we can just guard the entrance of the portal? Because then we won't have a way back here, and I'm not really willing to walk all the way to Ike again, just why to get back here. be here still? Don't we have all the prisoners? There's another camp. There's a whole other campment that we have to go to. Okay. <laughs> it feels like you missed a second. You know? like we have to really go to get that camp first before we get these prisoners. I got, I got you. Why? How are we going to get the other prisoners out of here? Cooler way, like I said. Fight through the town? How do we know that there's not... Uh, that the there's another exit on the other side of the camp. I mean, if we think it could be like a pattern, you know, the other prison had a way out. I'm sure this prison, the Shardana are an organized corporation. I mean, if they had a secret entrance out of there via that campment that we were before, who's to say this campment doesn't also have the secret The secret entrance was the stone. Yeah, so there's another stone in this campment. That's a long shot. I feel like that's a logical assumption. 
maybe it's just time for these prisoners to grow up. <laughs> and we tell them the way out, and they just have to do it. And you know um, what? If they die, that's on them. Uh, They're adults. How many uh, prisoners do we have with us currently? Twelve. There are twelve with you right now. Okay. Including Borknork? Yeah. Or does Borknork make the No, including Borknork. Okay. Seriously, I think we should just send them on their way because I don't want to babysit them, and then we can go save the other people. So like, and then we'll have a way out. Worst comes the worst. Like, we'll figure it out. I mean, I don't know. Don't worry about it. I'm going to ask Bork Nork if he remembers how many other prisoners there are at the camp. There are thousands. It's it's pretty much the stone. The stone. (laughs) No, we don't. There's another stone in that encampment. It's pretty much everyone from Avranches and Silsby, although that number is a bit lower now because it's been a while since we were first brought there. How sure can we be that there would be another stone in that camp? I am actually 77% certain that there is. (laughs) Which is a good chance in terms of (laughs) logic. So you're just going to look around the camp to find a specific stone that's going to teleport you... You well, we could do. Do you guys, do you guys remember our good old friend who blew himself up for us? Yeah. Why <laughs> don't I do? Jonathan, I think it was. <laughs> yeah. Why don't Why don't we just send? Uh, we take a, a little bit of a resty poo, you know, get ourselves all figured out, and then we have Farron go up and charm a random guard, make our new Jonathan, and then he goes in, and grabs the stone. If there isn't one, he'll tell us there isn't one. I would absolutely love this idea, and if it all goes south, then he could blow himself up. <laughs> well, we don't have the same. Uh, explosive material. Again. They might have it there. Well, if they do, then yeah. sure, we'll make new John. So, so I'll, I'll, before you go, with, I'll just let you know all that I know about the camp we were in. Oh, we're gonna stay with you. We're not leaving right now. We're gonna make a little camp and, and rest for a bit. Oh, okay, okay. And then you can tell us while we're there. Right okay. on the show. No, we're gonna find a little offshoot place. Okay, <laughs> but, man, like you gotta just assume some things. Okay, like. Keep up. <laughs> like assuming that there's going to be a teleportation stone. I just said we're going to send the Baron in to charm someone so we can make sure. I have an idea. Um, Is it a good one or another one about putting on the glasses? No, it's good. It's good. It's good. So all of these prisoners that we have, right? We got we got them all. They're all with us. Very cool. Yeah. They all have weapons. So. No, they don't have weapons. They have they, tiny pieces of material. Some of them do. Some yes. of them have yeah. legit weapons. Yeah, yeah from from oh, the guards sure. and from the like spare. Okay. Uh, so break room. How many? How many are armed? Uh, I with actual six. weapons. With actual weapons, there are three spears, short sword, long sword, two bows. Uh, seven armed. No, uh, eight armed with actual weapons, plus. The four that are just like scalpels. Yeah, plus scalpels, and then the people with scalpels also have two bows. Okay, so, so literally every single person is an actual one. Except for two. Except for two. Yeah. Okay. You two have been voted off the team, <laughs> okay? You're just tag alongs, alright? So they go at the front of the pack and they're the they're the like they're the shields. Don't say that in front yeah. of them. I didn't say that yeah. in character. I'm just saying out of character oh, that oh. we could potentially use them as human body shields. <laughs> is one of those guys am, the guy with one arm it's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> listen I'm chaotic neutral that doesn't mean I'm gonna murder people for no reason we can use their help to assault the camp maybe we not. don't need to assault the camp we're gonna sneak in and get them out man like let's 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 do my plan first where we figure out if there's a stone well, hold on hold on hold on there's only like a dozen of them with us right but there's thousands at that camp think about it all right Okay, the needs of many outweigh the needs of the few. I'm so confused. I'm not saying we should go and start killing everyone. I'm saying we'll sneak in, we'll find if there's a stone. If there is, we send these people away so we can save them. And then we'll sneak in quietly, kill if we need to, and then get people... Are you saying you want to send all these injured and exhausted people that pretend to be people who can hold swords but really can't into a battle with us so we can all watch them die? I say we could have them on standby. All right, <laughs> things go south, then they need to jump in, and that can give us the distraction we need to get these thousands of people out of here. So you want also, to use the injured prisoners as 
a distraction. We need to talk with... We can talk with them. I'm sure they'd be willing to sacrifice their lives for their people. Hey, uh, prisoners, are you all willing to die for us? No, not for uh, us, uh, for your people. I... Borknor uh, says, if it's needed, I'll die. Because look... And then... <laughs> and then the others are kind of looking... <laughs> are kind of looking... Like, no, probably not. Look, everyone, everyone, listen. Especially since they had just escaped from that prison camp. Fuck, okay, it's <laughs> like, time for Farron. I'm okay. sorry. It's just like a little vision is like, if it's me, then I'll <laughs> die. And then, like, Blaze just pulls out his gun. I'm gonna stand, and it's, it's speech time. Alright, look, everyone, we're in a bit of a tough situation, and times are dire right now. Thousands of your citizens right now are in prison just like you, but in a worse condition. And we don't really have a way to get them out yet. But we could use your help. If you're willing to be brave and not and grow some courage and put your lives on the line for your people to help them get out to safety, you would save your people. <laughs> you know? Probably die, though. Uh, obviously, you might die in the process, but it's not guaranteed. <laughs> It's not. Sad. Literally, nothing is guaranteed in this plan. Uh, about like that speech was really good, and about uh, so uh, seven of them plus Borknark anyway are like yeah, so I'm right, down. But they do seem extremely worn and like. Injured. All right, we're gonna rest anyway. We're gonna take a long rest. Only the people who raise their hands get weapons. Everyone else hand them over. <laughs> they go in the bag of holding. That's true. If you're not willing to put your lives on the line for your people, then you must sacrifice your weapons. And your scalpels arms. too. I see you too. <laughs> Are you gonna allow us to escape or allow us to get out of here in <laughs> any way? Yeah, obviously you're allowed to. Because if otherwise, then we're just as well off as in the prison. No, we're not gonna. We're in the prison camp we were just in. We're not gonna leave you, but if you're not gonna fight, then head over the fucking tools so someone else can use them. Understand this: if you're not gonna fight, yes, we'll still get you out of here. But understand that your citizens that will be saved are gonna look down on you for the rest of your lives (laughs) because you did not help them in their time of need. If the way is, if the way out is with you guys, we'll come. We'll defend ourselves, but we're not going to go straight into an attack where we're all going to be killed for nothing. Good, I don't want that either. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's guaranteed death. I'm just saying that you need to help your people. Fine. Okay. What were we going to... Yeah. Uh, Seabass. Yeah. You're, uh... Basically, your entire talk is equivalent to that scene in Shrek where Lord Farquaad's like, some of you may die, but that's the decision I'm willing to make. I really thought it was going to be something good, Tony. I really thought it was going to be something that, important. That was really good. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, that was great. That was perfect, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, here, listen, man. Listen, I, I don't want you to die. I don't want you to fight at all. I thought we were going to send you out right away, but if... That's what we thought too. Yeah, I'm on your side. <laughs> Go prisoner team. This Either way, I think we can all agree, regardless, we're going to set up a little tent. We're going to find a little like, quiet place, set up a tent and everything, and just have a, a long rest, you know? Get our shit back. You know, chill, relax, so you guys aren't completely fucked up when we go in and fight them. These guys will probably still be fucked up unless you guys heal them, because they've suffered, like, Tons of levels of exhaustion. I don't know the max level, but it's pretty damn tough. Take three and die. Three, yeah, they're at, two, yeah. at like two point five. Okay, well then, honest. Listen, guys, I don't think they can fight. Like they can say they want to fight, but if you give them a weapon, they'll be like, "Oh, fight!" Yeah, they're gonna fucking die, man. Like, Ork Nork and the Dragonborn, both of them that were on the torture table, seem in better condition just because they were healed. So well. Much. We could always try to just maybe take a huge group of the maybe the enemies and just drive them off somewhere, or maybe I could blow them up again. Well, Give fewer numbers to deal with. That's what I'm saying is we'll, we'll send someone on the inside, mm-hmm. figure out where the stone is first, right? Obviously, okay. and then he can give us a layout, and then he can tell us what the dealio is, and we'll make a plan there. Okay, so we'll combine plans. There are six levels of exhaustion. Damn. Oh, I thought it was six? I thought it was three. Yeah. So one is a disadvantage on ability checks, two is speed is half, three is disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws, four is hit point maximum half, five is speed reduced to zero, and six is death. So they'd be at number four. Okay. Either way, 
One, they're going to have... They're not going to be any help, okay? They're just going to be a hindrance. I they're know, not going to be in the front lines. They're just I don't want them to fight at all. They're going to they're just going to hurt themselves more. So you rather them just stand there and not defend themselves. I'd rather they wait out here where they won't be in any fucking danger and then we come back <laughs> afterwards and get them out. I'm going to lean over and whisper to my companions here. Look, I know I give them that inspiring little speech, but look, if we eat the needs of the many, I weigh the needs of the few. I'm totally fine with all of them dying to save these thousands of people. Can I change my new, my alignment to lawful? Because I'm the only lawful person here right now. Like, yeah, yeah. like oh my god. Borknor clicks you when you say that. He heard. I always knew he was a somewhat intelligent man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Borknor, come here, I'm gonna charge No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Clayton. What, what, Tony? Um, if you decide to change your alignment, um... You know what you could say? <laughs> there goes my alignment, boys. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time I've Tony, got. Tony, <laughs> one time I'd like you to pipe in with something that isn't a joke. <laughs> I, I will. Um, so what, are we going to use these freaking prisoners or what, dude? Listen, I, Blaze, am saying No. No, we're not giving them weapons. We're not making them fight. They're going to die. They're going to they're not even going to be helped. They're, so they're not going to be an, an distraction. They're not going to be an assistance. They're just going to lay they're just going to show up and be like, "Oh god, freedom." And then they'll fucking die. Okay. So, if a demon runs past one of us, gets past one of us and goes to attack the civilians, the weaker targets who won't be there cuz we're not we're not bringing them. Okay? That's what I'm saying is we're not bringing them anywhere near the encampment. We're going to make our little long rest area and they just here. If they want to fight, they're going to fight. Okay, who wants to fight? Borknar and the Dragonborn raise their hands, and uh, the other sev- the other six seven are- they were fighting. Yeah, there's seven plus Borknar, oh, okay. and then that is including the Dragonborn. So okay. the other six are kind of nodding their heads slowly. Okay. See? But Look at them. those. They seem extremely worn out. Hey, and I want not you to. In good condition. I'm gonna go up to and like, one of them has one arm. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the guy with the not the one with one arm, but I'm gonna go up to the nearest one. I'm gonna like grab him by the shoulders. I'm gonna look him in the eye. And be like, can you actually fight? Can you? Do you know how to fight? I can try. Okay. No, guys. His answer was, <laughs> I can try. Okay. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not doing that. I'm not bringing them with us. I won't. I refuse. I refuse. I veto that plan completely. Then you can stay behind and watch them. Okay. Yeah, Fine. Do you want I'll to stay behind. Them? I'll stay behind and watch them. You stay behind and watch them. I'll stay behind and watch them. Yeah, I don't want them to die. And normally I don't give a shit about people, but the whole reason we came here was to make sure they didn't die. So forgive me if I don't want to just watch them waltz in there and get cut into pieces. Alright, fine, um, we'll go with your stupid charm plan. You uh, liked that plan! <laughs> I do, and I still do, but... Ah, fine, I'll go in, I'll see what I can gather. If it doesn't work, it's gonna be trouble. Okay, I mean, f- no, please, feel free to take all the people that are gonna die. I'm not going with you, I don't need that on my conscience. I want you all to take a step back and just think about that, alright? You're leading people to their death. You're okay with leading someone to their death? Ryan, you're, you're a cleric. <laughs> you're, you're okay with leading people to their death? It's not to their death. It's fighting for their people. They can't. Okay. Ryan, are you okay with this? No, obviously. But I was Thank waiting for you. you guys to make a decision before trying to change your minds. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think I've, made, I, I've, I've talked too much. I've said my part, okay? I don't think we should bring them. And if you do, I'm not going. I have nothing to add. Uh, Lazarus is just going to walk off and start scouting. I thought you were going to say playing his flute. <laughs> okay, we need to find a place to rest first. Can we find a place to rest, Gage? Uh, That's so, like out of the way. Like... Yeah, so as Lazarus scouts ahead in this I'm going area, with him. yeah, as you do too. Uh, there are a lot of bends and curves as it goes this way and this this way and so forth and so on. Uh, there are a few small paths that go off in each direction, but as you kind of look or investigate those, they seem to be uh, dead ends and don't really go anywhere. And while this is happening, you guys hear a commotion in the town. 
you assume this is because the guard has become uncharmed and he's checked with the prison, sees everyone's gone, and is pretty much raising the town. He screams. Ah! <laughs> My prison! <laughs> and eventually, as Lazarus and Farron investigate further on, they don't see much besides offshoots on these passageways that are pretty much just dead ends or end in cave-ins. And then the main tunnel... You see that it leads to an area that goes open, and it's still pretty shrouded with darkness, so you're not able to actually see much until you approach. But you hear a lot of noise, and it's the sound of explosions, the sounds of mining, and the sounds of a ton of people. Well, and you see, as you approach, you do see that there's one guy kind of guarding the entrance. But he's facing away from you guys. And this is a... Some kind of demon. Only one guard? That seems kind of sketchy. It sounds like it's time for Big Plan 2.0. And that's where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons. Oh my god. Is that a JoJo reference? <laughs>